Oh yeah, there they go. Get back in there. Get back in there. Okay, let's get in. Not what I was hoping to do. Hey there, I got a small chick problem that I need to deal with today. And that problem is that these guys and girls, um, they were a straight run, are starting to smell and that rooster's actually outside. <laughs> Without having to change the litter every day, I think it is time to, to uh, move them on outside. So they are about two and a half weeks old. We have got to get these girls and guys outside. Um, hopefully I do have a mixture of both. I got a straight run from the hatchery. These guys are getting about two and a half weeks old. Their birth date was two weeks ago, Monday. And they are starting to smell. I can't keep up with the litter changes without literally, literally, <laughs> without literally um, changing the bedding every other day or so. And they're also at that point where when I take the top off, they kind of want to fly up. I had to catch one. And I don't want to make a habit of that and have some kind of disaster. So we're going to get these guys and girls outside. I've got to move a couple of hens that were in quarantine. Get the area ready for them. Install a heating lamp. I don't have one here anymore because when I put the screen on top of it, I had to remove the lamp because I couldn't figure out a way to rig it up to, you know, to keep everything safe. Don't want to burn down the house. Morning, Buster. Come on. First things first, we're gonna feed the rooster flock. And yeah, you know, everybody tells me I'm wasting feed. This, These were my first guys. So we're gonna take care of them. And they make pretty good guards against you humans not so much against the furry predators but they have been good about keeping visitors on their toes so the roosters i just give them this uh, all flock feed and probably feeding half of the wild birds in the in the in the area that's all right i only put out enough for one day don't judge me, I use this cast iron skillet. It was on the property when I came here, so they were using it to feed, I think, birds. Look at them guys go. And this is about the time I usually do my head count. I have seven. Looks like we've got six here. And one is back over there somewhere hanging out he'll come around in a minute so let's go check in on the baby rams and turn the other sheep out into the pasture <laughs> i know one of these days i gotta get a real gate all right go for it girls well one of them is a wither but you know, it is what it is. Weather, weather. Too much Minecraft. Morning, Mama. How's the babies? Everyone looking healthy? Yeah. <laughs> Still haven't named the white one yet. I'm kind of leaning towards Jersey. All right, let's go get some hay for Mama. I don't know if I can capture it or not, but this dog has a weird obsession with pulling <laughs> Hay off. <laughs> what are you going to do with all that? Huh? Get a pumpkin, they said. Chickens love pumpkins. I don't know what's up with my guys, but I scraped it. I cut a hole in it. I've done everything, and they are just not interested. Are you? No. Nope. Let me pet you. Not today. 
Okay. <laughs> These two girls had to be quarantined about a week and a half ago. Something had attacked them through their pen. I had to go through and block up all the holes and make sure that, you know, predators couldn't reach through them. They are still young. They're two weeks or two months old right now. They're two months old right now. Had a habit of sleeping up against the fence and I hadn't had any predator issues. And then all of a sudden one of them went missing. One of them got severely injured. And those two right there had injuries as well. They survived, but I had to separate them because what was happening was the others doing their chicken thing. They were constantly pecking at them. So they've recovered. I'm going to move them out of there, back in here with their sisters, and we will get, get that uh, raked out, put some new bedding down, and move the babies out. Probably can't see it, but she still has. Oh, Smokey, no. She still has a little bit of damage to her wing. It's um, it's healed up. The feathers are missing, but she has recovered. No smoke. So we're gonna put her back in with her sisters. This one had a little bit of damage on her chest, but um, it's healed up as well. Kind of glad to see that. It's supposed to be a hen, but um, I guess we'll find out for sure in a couple months. Gonna pop off their food while we're at it. So it's crazy, they've been separated for 12 days and it looks like they're having to reestablish their pecking order. That's kind of um, interesting, but they'll be fine. I got confidence. So I'm just gonna let them tear that up just to see what kind of job they do with it. I'm also gonna get the water. I'm also gonna get the food and water ready because I'm putting them in there and then trying to do it. They're gonna be super anxious or skittish, I guess would be the word. They're gonna be super skittish. We'll just get the water in there today and the food. That way we can go a couple of days, let them get settled before we have to change and feed them again. on camera <laughs> so these chicks aren't gonna like this and I know that from experience from the others that I got they just they jump all over the place first thing we're gonna do is take out the food and water
So we're gonna temporarily cover these guys. Oh yeah, there they go. Get back in there. Get back in. Okay. Not what I was hoping to do. So I originally ordered six Rhode Island Reds and six Black Osterlorps and also one of the meal makers. I lost one Rhode Island Red and I lost one Black Osterlorps um, that first evening, but the rest of them are doing fine. I know that um, I have, actually I have a, so they are again. I have a runt of each, one of the reds and one of the black ocelorps. But I did get a straight run of each because my goal is I want to raise my own flock that I can get eggs from and also I can maybe sell some of the chicks from. So this is actually one of the runts from the Rhode Island reds. No. Another Rhode Island Red. Oh, well, it's funny they've all it's funny they've all moved to the back. I think this is the mill maker, so it's it's uh, not identified. Move. Oh no, that's another Rhode Island Red. There's the mill maker, the yellow one. This is one of my runts, the black Australorp. Looks like we have an audience. Well, sort of an audience. Wow, she is noisy. This is the meal maker. Have yet to know what she's gonna be. One more Rhode Island Red. <laughs> and this one almost cut away. <laughs> it is sure hard to do this with one head. The water is a little bit too high right now, but I don't want to put it on the ground, so I am going to go get a brick that they can jump on until they're tall enough to reach it. Smokey out. These are my hand layers. They reside over here my hen layers <laughs> my egg layers i wish they laid hens they are a mix they were given to me their mom was a bard rock and dad was supposed to have been a barn velder um but i think someone jumped the fence because all of my roosters look like their mom and the two hens come out looking like this. So, something suspicious is going on. I still get at least one egg a day from these girls. Um, and I get two eggs every other day. I don't know who's doing the most laying. But, they're doing a wonderful job. Only one egg so far today. I know it's early. I usually check these in the afternoon. But still sticking to the at least one egg a day. Well, we wanted to move the hen, the chick. <laughs> we wanted to move the chicks from the house to the hen house. And that's what we've done. I would say with some success. Um, almost had one. I don't think it would have been a tragedy. I would have just had to chase it. Um, but we made it.